Somebody shout the loud hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus. Happy Easter. Sit down and begin to worship God. There is power in resurrection. The power we talk about is the power that everybody has tried in the past before Jesus came. All the prophets of the old, they enjoy that power. But they don't understand what they carried. All the prophets of old carried resurrection power without knowing what they carried. Moses, Elijah, Elisha. Elisha was supposed to do 38 miracles. The master did 37 miracles and he was expecting him to do more. So he did up to 37 before he died. Remaining one. But the issue remains that the fact is that the, the master did not die. Say after me. I can't hear you. So real children of God don't die. We we depart. Children of God do not die. We transform. So the master Elijah transformed. We transit. When we finish here, we just transit. We don't, we don't die. And God determines the time he will transit with you. If the time comes and you have a good deal with God, you can just, God can extend your life as a sky. I'm speaking on I will not die but live and declare the works of God. I will not die. Somebody shout it. You're saying it as if you want to die. Say it. I will not die. Say it loud and clear. I will not die. Listen. You need to be secured first before things around you can be secured. Business can die. Business is not a blessing. Love can die. Love is not a blessing. Connection can die. Connection is not a blessing. Contact, source, doors may close. They are not a blessing. The blessings of the Lord makes rich and has no sorrow. Now, what is the blessing? You are the blessing. If you are happy and you believe what I'm saying that is true, if you want to clap, you want to shout, give God a better one. The misses can fail. They are not the blessing. These are fruits of the blessing. So, if the source lives and not dies, those things can be given birth to again. Whatever you have lost in life, fear not. As far as God lives, you live. So, don't think 
of what you have lost, the promises, the revelations, you think they are dead. Since you are alive, if it's a dream, you will dream a bigger, better dream. Amen. Amen. The master of Elisha did not die. He finished his work here and transited. So, the transferred vessel is not permitted to die. What happened? He died. He died because he does not know what he carried. Elisha was being looked at as the replica of the master and the addition of the master. We, through his ministry, with him, we found out double anointing. Double anointing does not stop. There is also triple anointing. Which Gehazi missed. By disobedience. By not being faithful. As a prophet, I found the spirit that carried the third anointing, triple. That was in the book of Ezekiel. The anointing that Gehazi should have carried. Having the inherent ability to bring changes and raise the dead and make things that are dead to come back, even by words and breaths, now transferred thousands of years, about 8,000 years after to Ezekiel 37. But now I'm dwelling on the second level of the anointing. The second level of the anointing, which is called the double anointing of Elijah, was upon Elisha. And Elisha did many miracles. Multiplication of money, multiplication of things, breakthrough anointing. But he died. Somebody say he died. I can't hear you. And he was allowed to be buried too. He broke the law of double anointing. Double anointing does not permit you to do less than your master. His master checked out of this world. He did not die. He did not cry for death to leave him. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Still you die. No. He was talking with the, bro, the, the, the colleague. That is the son in ministry. And he checked out. He had carried power that he does not need to pray. They were passing through Jordan. They did not pray or command Jordan. Their presence parted Jordan. Anybody that wants such grace, lift your hands and say, I, I receive. I receive. That you will walk into a business that is not working. The business will say, I will now walk because you are around. Amen. Nobody is hearing me. I say, you walk into a place. Nothing is moving. That place will respond and say, I will make things to work for you. Amen. Praying for things to happen is a lesser anointing. But building yourself that your presence makes things to happen is another grace. These men we are discussing about their ministry. They were not talking to Jordan. They were just approaching Jordan. And Jordan said, are you guys around? <laughs> Opened up. That business will open this day. Amen. Oh, I can hear somebody. That marriage has opened this day. Amen. Amen. So that was where the master stopped. He was supposed to do like the master. What happened to him? Psalm 82 verse 6 and 5. Ye are gods. You are sons of the most high. But you know, you know not. Ye shall die like men. men. Ye don't know whom you are. That's why you die like men. Men. Children of God are not, we are not men, men. If you have your Bible, please go through it. Psalm 85. Psalm 82, verse 6 and 5. 
Then, no, six and five. I didn't say five and six. I have said, comma, God, I. When you say I in the Bible, I represents God. It's not talking about human being that says things that they are not sure of. I have said, ye, not just Samuel, all of you, Shiloh, every member of this church, ye are God's. And how many of you? All of you. Are children of the Most High. Verse 5 now. Because in the Bible, sometimes you have to have revelation to know the placement. Not just reading like that. Some verses are placed before. Now, verse 6. You go back. Verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. High. Okay. Verse 5. And know not. Shiloh people know not. Neither will they understand. Even today, they, they, they don't know. That they can't die by poison. They can't die by cancer. They can't Amen. die by accident. Amen. They can't die by HIV. Amen. They do not understand that people will not just attack them and give them spiritual uh, uh, poison and they just die. That's why they walk in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are of course. Out of course. People are buried where they're not supposed to bury, be buried because they don't know whom they are. Elisha was not, had no business in that grave. Elisha died and was buried. Hey! Somebody try me to give God a big shout. Woo! You are giving God a shout, but if I say this, shout as a shock. Elijah not Elijah. Elijah was supposed to die, but he refused. He was ordinary. He refused. How much more the one that said, Elijah, you are too much, Baba, but I want double of you. And he released it and he collected it. Immediately, prophets, people in Bible school, all of them started seeing vision because of him. You don't understand what I'm talking about. I mean, people that we are still learning, Jesus is Lord. Eh? Jesus died. Eh? It was in uh, 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 a manger. Eh? They now graduated and entered atmosphere of prophetic and said, the spirit of Elijah has rest on Elisha. All of them became prophets. See him. Just because he carried the mantle coming out. He said, where, where are they? Immediately he came close to the to the, to the Jordan. He, his ministry just started. So he cannot do like his master. Now, he has double anointing, but he will still start with elementary supernatural. He now, they didn't pray to cross. Now he needs to practicalize. He said, hey, Jordan, he came close. Touch it. What does he remain? He look. No master. Where is the God of my master? Hey! He divided. All of them started seeing vision. But he died. I want you to be shocked and give me a shout of shocking shout. But he died and was buried in the same land where the father checked out. Error, error, error. <laughs> His father happens to be a junior spiritual person then because he has left. Releasing the full option and another option that nobody has tested. Elijah checked out Elisha died and was buried in the same town. I was reading Obadiah chapter 1 verse 1. This is a bad rumor. There are rumors that make me to see vision. There are rumors that can make you to start crying. Bad rumor. If there is good rumor, there is bad rumor. Devil can bring bad rumor to you in your closet. And you sleep with it, you see evil vision. Now, I can have rumor from heaven. The rumor about Elisha 
on this story is evil. That's Ubdaya 1 1. You can pray and become a supernatural person with this. I quote a quotation. I, I think we can read it. Can we go? So before you have a rumor, you, your eyes of vision will open from heaven. One to go. Is there anybody in this church? Can I hear your voice? God bless you. There was what? Uh -huh. We have heard a rumor uh -huh. from the Lord. And an ambassador is sent. And let us rise. When he died and was buried, it was a bad rumor to the angelic supernatural beings. They were all hanging around for an opportunity to change this rumor on his grave. So these angels of resurrection that were around, the powers residing in his bones, foaming. How can this man be in this corner? He does not belong here. Somebody here has been buried somewhere in a business, a marriage, a relationship that devil has buried you that you can rise and pursue your vision. Today, there is a signal in heaven to change the rumor. Amen. You don't understand. You will understand that in the book of 2 Kings chapter 13 verse 21. That is how to change the rumor. Can we read? One, two, church, go. Uh -huh. Okay, verse 20. One to go. Verse 20, 20. Maybe you don't understand what we are reading. One to go. And Elisha died and, and buried what? him. Eh? They buried Who him. died? Elisha. If it's Elijah, I will become. And Elisha, the double anointed man that the father checked out, did what? Bad rumor. That your business died and my business has not died in God. Shiloh is alive. Devil said we shall die. I said no. You are a liar. We shall not die. If your yes. business die, if your career die, if your breakthrough die, it's a bad rumor. I'm alive in my ministry. Devil is a liar. Bloody liar. You shall live in your career. Amen. It's a bad rumor that Elijah, not Elijah, died and was buried. Not just that he died. Woman being carried his corpse. Woman being. He did not fall them under the anointing. Do you know whom you are talking about? He can look and the whole city will cease. No bread. We don't know what is called anointing. But let us finish verse 20. What happened? This village and this village, they have boundary and they don't have peace together. And these ones were coming. What happened? He said, and the bands of the mobiles invaded the land and they coming in one of the year. The year God will prove that the position the enemy has placed you you are not supposed to be in that corner. Where they have hung you, where they have pushed you, where they have cornered you, it's not the will of God. God is not happy. Today, you are coming out. Amen. Oh my God, somebody rise and receive. You are coming out. Amen. You are coming out. You are coming out again. Sit down if you know you are coming out. Verse 21 says something. Verse 21. Verse 21. Can we go? Yes, sir. Yes. And One, came, two, go. Yes. And it came to pass as they were burying a man. Another man. Listen. Two dead people now. 
Elisha died and was buried. Bible did not confirm how many years. His ministry ended up there. That means he decayed. That means even termite, it's this anointed man. Jesus. The word of God said that his body will not see corruption. Elijah was not Jesus, the, the master of this man. And he did not see, his body did not see what? I can't hear you. Huh? And Enoch walked with God. And it was not. He was not Jesus. But his body did not see what? I can't hear you. So, actually, Elisha saw corruption. Can you see how destinies can change? If you permit, you can change your destiny. From what the enemy has done to a good thing. Or from what that is good to evil. According to your mindset. Donald Trump today, I knew he would be president a long time ago. But I don't know when. I bought all his books to death. I can show you all. He, I bought his books to the extent that the one he wrote with Robo Kiyosaki together, that you must be rich. You have to be rich. I have it before. I had it before this election. He was the man that said, take all my wealth. Take away all my belongings. Take all I have in my account. Leave me with my senses and life. Allow me to breathe. In 12 months, I will double it. You are the blessing. Once you exist, forget what you have lost. There is a moment. There is a tendency for more duplication. For addition to multiply whatever you have lost. Am I speaking to somebody here? And it does not take too much story to do it. Shiloh has collapsed. God wants to lift it. And I agree with him. Shiloh wants to multiply. God wants to do it. I agree with him. Shiloh, we don't have money. How can we do it? If my mind agree with the spirit of God, anything can happen. That is what I'm out here every Sunday to impact people so that they will impact others. I'm not here to, to, to repeat matters, to repeat services. I'm here to impact to people what God has shown me. You can bounce back again. I don't understand what you're saying. Do you believe? Amen. Amen. I must bounce back. Two weeks ago, a pastor came here and raised money to 1,000. It didn't work. The worst happens to me before the best happens. Last week, a pastor again, a man of God came, was releasing money. God gives me the best after. I know you don't understand my languages sometimes, but before you see me rise, I roll on the floor. God allow me to roll so that I will have teaching for you. If you talk about poverty, I have tested it. You talk about separation, trouble, reconciliation, I have enjoyed it. So if I'm telling you, I know that poverty can disappear. Amen. If one God said that you should not die, I could die. That means if you believe God again, that God that said it will make the person to come back to life. All you need is to hear him. What is Baba saying concerning my situation? We are listening to people so much. That's why it has fed our mind. It can make us to recover. So you look at the margin of your problem. You look at the wordings of people. You look at yourself. You are still wearing Accra? No. It does not matter. 
What matters is that you are the blessing. And that blessing does not add sorrow. If you are there, things will be in place very soon. Amen. Flesh gone. Life gone. Bread gone. Everything gone. But the blessed Elisha was still there in the spirit realm. Your spirit determines your future. Flesh gone. Breath gone. Hair gone. Eyeballs gone. Bones scattered. But the spirit of Elisha that carries the double anointing is still there. If your spirit is still in tune with the spirit of God, no man can predict you again. John chapter 3 verse 8. He said the wind is moving. You cannot see the wind. But when you see the effect of the wind, you can shout. Wind brought down this building. Wind blew off everything on this roof. Wind brought down the trees. You will say it with your mouth without seeing it or feeling it. He said that's how they that are of the spirit works. You are that way. People can't predict you after this service. No way. Amen. <laughs> They see you with one jeep. They say, hey, he has arrived. No way. God is still rolling the, the tires. It's going somewhere. Verse 21. I'm going somewhere. Are you going somewhere? If you are going somewhere, give God a shout of hallelujah. That's why you're not permitted to get used to God. Don't get used to God. If you get used to God, you lose it all. Don't get used to God. There is more to God. Tell somebody. There is more to God. Can you listen? Tell somebody, don't get used to God. Don't get used to God. I can't hear you. Don't get used to God. Don't get used to God. There is more to God. There is more to God. Verse 21. Now, I will explain to you that this verse 21 is a big revelation. It's talking about Jesus as Elisha. The same place we are reading, the, sec the next verse, the, se the, the next verse, I mean, the life of Elisha. I do quote and I go back to our test. I will not die. Elijah's bone scattered in the grave but still saying the same thing. I will not die. Believe and declare the works of God. I will not die. Somebody begin to say this. Media, the person that works on the table, walk on the table, remove the new people. Um, this is a powerful service. Don't play with God. Verse 21. One, two, go. One, two, go. Church. One, two, go. Church. And we read it again. Put your spirit and read it. Touch everybody. Hold somebody and read it. What to go? That behold, they spread a band of men and they cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was laid down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood up on his feet. Give God a big shout. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it there. Keep it the way it is. Yeah. Hey. 
God is amazing. Oh my God. You will not die. Amen. The Bible says that a man without name God does not want us to know the man or the family or the lineage. That means it can happen to anybody. And the man died, they were to bury the man in the bush. They were going to the burial ground, but they could not get there before they saw the band. That is, the, the thieves, people looking like thieves, they, they were assuming that these people can come and destroy us, that we are coming to bury at the boundary between us and this country because we don't have peace. Fear came on them. And now, they say this man is dead, he's a dead man. We cannot do anything. Drop the man's body. They did not know that the skull and the bones that we are seeing around happens to be the grave of the great man of God, Elisha. And as they were running, third man joined them in running. And they shout up and ran more. You don't understand the drama that happened. Somebody was dropped to start decaying and die too. People that drop him, he had noise kata, 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 because he, he has seen people running. That means he's also afraid of dying again. He now joined them. Hey! Somebody here, somebody here, your blessings will rise and pursue you again. Somebody here, your miracle that was there shall rise to pursue you again. Be in the spirit. Don't reduce your tire. Be in the spirit. Don't reduce the air in your tire. Keep pumping it. We are pumping it for you to start running fast towards your destiny. Come on, us. When we hear the word of God, you sit down again, you reduce the, the air. Keep pumping it. Keep the air up. Tighten it. Keep up because God is taking you somewhere. I said that the third man from that place came from the grave. He was afraid of dying. Meanwhile, he was dead and pursued the living. Everything that dies shall pursue you. Amen. Amen. Now we have a big question. Somebody do like this. Question mark. And stood up on his feet. Now the Bible mentioned, did not mention the name of the man. But he mentioned the name of the man of God. That means in that grave, any dead thing that touched that grave will come back to life. Why did he mention Elijah? Meaning that all the burial ground there, if you carry that body to the place, nothing happens. Only on that spot where the anointed, the blessed one, you are the blessed one. You are. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are, a corner where you have your shop, an office, or any circle you are, things are not working there. You only need to step in as a blessed child of God for things to begin to turn around. I decree prosper. Amen. Things are not working in certain places because the blessed one has not arrived. Some businesses are not working because the blessed one, if you know you're blessed, give God a maximum shout of glory. Yeah! I'm not talking about your business or your vision or career. I'm not talking about your ministry or your marriage. I'm talking about you as a child of God. If you know you are blessed, if you know you are blessed, stand up and give God a big shout. Sit down, sit down. A big question mark. The man stood. The Bible did not record that Elisha stood. What happened? So Elisha remains there. I'll give you the answer. Are you ready for the answer? 
Oh my God. Are you ready for the answer? Write it down. Number one, you can't give what you don't have. If you have life, then you give life. If you have death, you give death. If Elisha is dead, how did that man live? Something is giving me a signal that Elisha was disguised. In order to bring 37 miracle, 38 miracle, he can die because Jesus can die. Jesus was disguised for three days. He did not die. He's alive forever. He went to the grave. He went to the grave. He went to the grave. He went to the hedges. He went there to preach the gospel. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. Jesus is alive. resurrection. He came back and said, I am life. He did not say, I died and I resurrected. He said, I am the resurrection and I'm life. That means in the grave he was alive. He's not dead in any way. He did not die. He did not die. I need to send this message to the devil that says that you're a child of God but your business will die. Your marriage will die. Your ministry will die. Your destiny will die. Your career will die. Your finances will die. Your job will die. The devil is a liar. You are living because Jesus lives. Jesus lives, you shall live. You will not die. Believe and declare the works of God. This message will shake the foundation of everybody's destiny and family. Hear Amen. my voice. Yeah. This message will shake your foundation. Amen. I take you to another level. Are you ready for another level? Yeah. Matthew chapter 26 verse 53 to 58. I want to show you even if you claim first of all if you have Bible, open it. To that second Kings chapter 13, verse 22. 22. Before I go. To Matthew 26. Can we read? One to go. I can't hear anything. But Hazel, king of Syria, oppressed, eh? oppressed Israel. All the days of Jehovah. Is this thing in the lineage of Elisha's history? I'm asking a question. Is this story in the lineage of Elisha's history? Look at your Bible again. Go back to 21. Let me rewind them. Let me rewind it. Verse 21. Look at this. After this place, the news about Elisha ceased. Verse 22. He was talking about another king. That means he has finished his ministry. So how can the double anointing finish in the grave? That's a big question. The history, he raised somebody with his bones and the history about him ended. That means he has finished his ministry. If he finished his ministry, how can he still be in the grave? Why he has raised somebody with his bones? Because if he's still there, by this incident, the Bible will record many other people that will come there and it will become a healing ground. Am I speaking to somebody? I doubt Elisha is not in the grave. Elisha is nowhere. Nobody is talking with me. In the grave. Can I give you another proof? Matthew chapter 26 verse 53. Remember, you cannot give what you don't have. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and life. Remember, John 63 says, it is the spirit that weakens. The flesh profits nothing. 
So Elisha does not need flesh to stand. He needs the spirit to be quickened and move. Am I speaking to somebody? Romans chapter 8 verse 11 says, If that same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in Samuel, it shall vitalize my mortal body to touch businesses, to touch money, to touch mantles, to touch documents, you and I, and it will turn to miracle. Wave your hands. Matthew chapter 26 verse 53 say, I can call my father. He will send me the legions of angels. That means Jesus can fall these people under the anointing. As Elisha's body can fall people that will carry him under the anointing and they will be shaken. But he did not. He allowed them to hurt him and bruise him. And he was giving up the ghost. Well, he was giving up the ghost, something happened in Matthew 27. That was where I became sure I do mathematics and equation with the word of God. And when I start with the question, I, answer, I give the answer and get the question again and go back to the answer. That's how I, I confirm my revelation in the world. Now, in Matthew 27, verse 53 to 58, I start. Can we read? Verse 52, 1, 2, go. 52, 52, 52, 52. You see, you are seeing flashes. 50, 50, verse 50. See another flash. One to go. And Jesus. Everybody, one to go. Jesus, when he had cried again, uh -huh. with a loud voice, he yielded up the ghost. Listen, listen, there's a mystery here. When ghost see ghost, another ghost will come back. You don't understand me. All the dead men that died many thousand years ago after Ezekiel declared did not come back physically. It was in the spirit realm. He said, I was in the spirit. And the Lord took me and I saw the house of Israel. And I saw dry bones. Read it at home. Ezekiel 37. And he said, son of man, can this bone live? He was in the realm. To see the resurrection that will happen today in Matthew 27 about all the saints that died in the past. Now, he prophesied it and the bones came to bone and they came back to life. And it was the army of Israel. Millions and thousands of them. Now, Jesus in this present time how did he make his own to happen? He did not prophesy. He only cried. That cry was a cry of all the souls. Gather. Dead men. Anywhere you are. Gather. And he released his spirit. Immediately his spirit appeared in, in the headings. Other dead people saw him and came back in the physical. That was what Elisha did in the old. How? Let's go. Verse 51, 52, 53. You will see everything. Let's go. One, two, go, 51. And behold, the veil of the temple was rent into twain. The first action, the veil of the temple rent into twain from the from top the to top. the bottom. Any veil covering you, I command it to tear into pieces now. Yeah. This someone is shaking your destiny. You don't yeah. need another prophecy, another deliverance. Because God is using his word to help you out of the den of lions. Yeah, man. Man. And the earth did quake. I said this someone will shake your foundation. Amen. Yeah, and the rocks rent. Rocks. 
that means even if they have buried your destiny in the rock, all shall appear in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh my God, verse 52. God is doing a spiritual drive in somebody's foundation. And we are open. And the graves the were opened. And what happened? And, and the men, saints which slept arose. Is Elisha in the grave? No. No. When you count the saints, I think Elijah and Elisha. Elijah went. Elisha was there. If Elisha was still in the grave, this particular day, he went. So who is telling me that somebody's destiny will be buried in that village? At this moment of the year, that God has revealed this truth to you. When you discover you recover, 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 we say, 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 we So, if we close this family of evil, the family of good will start. Because the demons that attack you now, they have family. They have lineage. They have grandfather. They have grandmother. They do wedding celebration. You keep this one, another one will come out. So, God opened the grave. Saints came out. Not Satan came out. Every devil that wants to rise with you, I strike you with Holy Ghost thunder. Amen. Amen. The word of God says, and the saints arose, not Satan. Every Satan suffering, and saints arose, no sorrow, no sickness, and saints arose, not shame. I declare whatever that is part of God rising up against you, Holy Ghost. You are free. Amen. Amen. You are free. Amen. Amen. You are free. Amen. Amen. Verse 53. Sense did not just arose. They did something again. You know, the argument of the news and circulation of lies and stage manage happened in the past. Jesus touched the only son with the widows, the mom. People said, this boy did not die well. They stage managed this and planned. He just came and touched. He said, okay. He went to down cell. The, the girl arose, 12 years old. They said, this is stage manage. Why are you people being fooled? He said, okay. When Lazarus was sick, they told him. He was reading Psalms, him, doing miracles. They told him again that he's dying, you know. He's your friend, though. Daddy he was singing hymns. They told him again. He was traveling. They say it's now four days. He said, let's go. Lazarus is sleeping now. Let's go and wake him up. Clap for him. <laughs> when people say that your destiny is dead, Jesus says it's just sleeping. Amen. Your destiny, your destiny that people are laughing at just took a nap. It did not die. Amen. Amen. Your, your account, your bank account, your business is taking a nap. Amen. It's taking what? A nap. It's not dead. It's, it took a nap. He wake up in a moment. People will say, Ah, who is coming? Prophet I or someone? No, Taizima. If they carry Taizima, come. Now, you get this Rolls Royce. <laughs> they say, This is one of them. This is the oldest one. Amen. This one is the one he used to stroll out. 
Amen. You don't know the God we serve. Woo! He's the same yesterday. Yes. He's the same today. Yes. And he's the same forever. Amen. Sit down, let me show you. If God can mix his kings, we read it in the Bible. Who told you that you that is not a slave cannot become a better king? Without any effort. If God can make slaves queens, how can you believe the enemy that you will not make it in life? If a slave can become a queen and start giving order under 24 hours, if a prisoner will be the one to put a seal before anything will be sold under 24 hours, who told you that in that office you have not attained position that can you, you can use to challenge the whole world by what you carry. Bouncing in the Lord. Bounce in Jesus. Woo! Move on the road as if you know where you're coming from. Yes, sir. Don't wait to be pitied. Don't wait for people to tell you sorry. Don't wait for them to pet you. Allow Jesus to take over your destiny. Amen. I want to round this message with this. Our faith is called the faith of resurrection. Our ministry, the round of our ministry, rounding it up, the summary of kingdom is resurrection people. People that you can't kill. Unkillable society. That is, you, when you count them off, they will sprout from nowhere. That is the mission. The mission of Jesus is to teach man that until a seed is planted and it dies, it cannot bear fruit. It cannot live. It cannot live. You are, you are in the dying process. Some of us are in the, in the process of germination. And you are giving up on God. Don't give up on God. Amen. He has not given up on you. Yes, sir. This someone is changing somebody's mentality. Amen. This someone is changing somebody's spiritual man. Amen. There is a spirit in you. And the spirit of the Lord gives that spirit understanding and resurrection. Amen. There is a spirit of man. And that spirit in man gives God the light to see the man. Amen. You need to light up what God said in you with your mouth so that God will see you and lighten up your candle. If you allow your mouth to be shut, your heaven will be shut, destiny will be shut, opportunities will be shut. Speak positive words. This week, you will start reaping the results. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you very much. Your business shall explode. Amen. Amen.